Hello, Fairborn Skyhawks. Congratulations to our student athletes for what you did on and off the field this year. And congratulations to the class of 2020. I know you will all do great things. Go Skyhawks. Hey everybody, Coach Kearns here, head football coach. Um, hope everybody's ready for fall 2020 football season. Um, we're excited about it, it should be a good one. We were coming off a three and seven season, um, which we made huge progress all year in the things what we're trying to do. Um, we had a thousand yard passer, a thousand yard rusher, two players over 100 tackles on the season in the second best defense in the league statistically um, and the best defense in, a, in many years. We're excited for this coming season. Um, our numbers are up, our work ethic is up. Um, the things that our players are doing have us excited. So I look forward to seeing everybody out. Hi, Coach Beatrice here with the varsity volleyball team. We finished with 11 wins and 11 losses, placing us seventh in the league. To highlight my seniors and their ranking within the league, Ella Wallen finished 32nd in blocking and 37th in attacking. Cindy Haas finished 30th in serving, 12th in assisting, and 47th in attacking. Kenzie Cartwright finished 64th in attacking, 66th in digs, 48th in passing, and Sarah Peter Angelo finished 55th in passing and 58th in digs. Um, very proud of these seniors um, and what they've accomplished. Uh, good luck with your upcoming adventures and go Skyhawks. Hey, hey, Coach Greg Durker with Boys Soccer. I want to give a quick update. Uh, we had a boys had a good season. I uh, especially want to highlight the uh, 10 boys that were seniors that had played their entire career and left it on the field. So boys, well done. I did have two boys that broke some school records. And uh, the first one was Zach Gilman, who had 415 career saves over his four years. And trust me, some of those hurt. And also Keegan Durker, who had 35 career assists, which uh, set the record and also beat his older brother Lucas with who had 25 career assists. So, so boys, well done. Good luck to you all. I just want to congratulate the 2019 girls soccer team for a tremendous season. They finished 9, 5, and 3. That's uh, one of the top five records in Fairborn's uh, girls soccer history. So congratulations to that. And I really want to thank Hannah Baumgartner and Karen Floyd, uh, our two seniors that contributed four years of tremendous uh, hard work, dedication, desire, determination, um, they're a big part uh, of the reason why we, we had so much success. So thank you very much, girls. Hi, Skyhawks. It's Coach Roberts. I just wanted to hop on here and say how proud I am of all of you for finishing out this school year strong, especially the seniors. I know this is not how you wanted your senior year to go, but I am proud of you for how much determination and hard work you still gave it. So I'm proud to call myself a Skyhawk and hope to see the other athletes soon. Seniors, good luck in your future, and I wish you all the best. Hey everyone, Coach T here. Just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Um, I know you weren't expecting this ending to your year, but you've grown and you have blossomed. And honestly, with the resiliency and strength, you will go so far. So best wishes to you all. Good luck and um, go Skyhawks. Coach Steck here with the uh, tennis program. Just a quick recap of the uh, girls and boys season. The girls had um, an over 500 record, go girls, led on the court by Eva Gibson as a freshman. And we had five seniors that um, gave us excellent leadership. Kayla Terry, Ashley Walker, Olivia Brinson, Jaden Newsom, and Rachel Darner. And for the boys season, we were able to finish the season undefeated, um, go boys. Um, best of luck in the future to Daniel Buita, um, who's our graduating senior, and congratulations to Ni nee Win on receiving the um, Ohio Tennis Coaches Association Award for academic and athletic excellence. So um, that's it. See you on the court. Hey there, everybody. My name is Matt Newell. I am the varsity golf coach at Fairborn High School. Just wanted to congratulate the seniors of 2020, and good luck in the future. Hope to see everybody out on the golf course in the fall. Take care. I'm very proud of our girls basketball team, especially the way we ended our season, winning five out of the last seven regular season games, which is huge. I also want to give a shout out to our seniors, amazing young ladies, 
We will miss them very much. Two of them are actually still continuing to pursue college basketball, but I'm very proud of all of them and I'm excited to watch them continue to grow and chase their dreams. We have a lot of young players um, returning this upcoming season, so we're excited to keep improving. Hey Skyhawks, Coach Harchek here, Fairborn Boys basketball coach. Made this video to thank my parents, players, and especially my seniors. Who would have thought that this would have been the last sport that you guys would have played this year? Uh, very grateful for your effort, your hard work that you guys put in. Wish you guys nothing but the best moving forward. If there's anything that I can do to help you guys, please reach out. I'm here to help. Um, for my returning players, looking forward to getting back in the weight room, hopefully getting back in the gym this summer. Um, but again, we have a lot to work on. Skills, whether we get in the gym or not, you guys can work on them at home. Hopefully you guys are doing that to get better for next season. I am very positive on what the future holds for the basketball program. Um, again, looking forward to, to next year. Thank you. Thank you to the parents. Thank you to the players. And again, thank you seniors for what you guys did this year. Go Skyhawks. Skyhawks, Coach Spain here. Just want to give a quick shout out to everybody who came out and wrestled last year. We had a big roster with lots of young kids on it. You guys worked hard and learned lots of new stuff. And you did a great job of representing both your city and your school. Have fun this summer and looking forward to seeing you again soon. Hi, this is Coach Julia and I coach the boys and girls varsity swim team. We had a great season. The women placed second at the CJ Sprint Meet. And a big shout out to our only four year varsity letterman, who's a senior, Mallory Schroeder. Hey, Fairborn Bowlers, it's Coach Morenic here. What a great season we had. Didn't end up the way we wanted it, but we had a lot of great accomplishments. Girls, state runner up, awesome. Guys, you're the best group of guys I've had in a long time. We look forward to next year. And we hope to see you guys back on the lanes. Seniors, we hope you guys have a great time in your future endeavors. Stay cool out there. Hey, this is Coach Barr, Girls Track and Field. Uh, I want to say to the seniors, thank you very much for all that you did this year and the past years. You were a great help to the track program. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, we got some more work to do and some time to make up for. Uh, have a great summer and best of luck. Good afternoon. I'm Coach Smith from the boys track and field team. Uh, of course, our season was cut short here due to the ongoing situation in the country. However, we did have roughly 41 young men out there running track this year. Of the 41 young men, we had six seniors. The first senior, Noah Downing, who was also our team leader. Uh, Noah is slated to join the military after graduation. However, Noah earned the position of team leader due to his willingness to work hard as well as support all the things ongoing with the team. The next senior is Caleb Schaefer. Caleb Schaefer is one of the uh, peers runners I've seen in my, in my track and field career. Uh, Caleb is slated to attend Auburn University upon graduation. Uh, third senior is Ty Tyron Schultz. Tyron Schultz is what I consider to be the team heartbeat. Uh, Ty Tyron is an a exceptional young man that, that has a high level of accountability and responsibility for the things he does. Um, the next senior is Bailey Hadler, who uh, Bailey was our hurdler. Uh, he was probably the most challenging uh, young man on the team in the past two years due to the fact that for him to be better at hurdles, I knew I had to be better as a coach. Bailey is expected to attend Wittenberg University to continue to, continue to run hurdles upon graduation. Uh, the following two seniors are Karen Burnett and Caden Campbell. Both these young men were new to the team this year. However, they worked very hard while we was out there, and I'm pretty certain that they would have been a significant part of the team. You know, although our season was cut short, we had high goals for this past year. And, of course, next year, bringing the core of the team back, uh, we will ensure that we keep these seniors with us to perform uh, what we was unable to do this year. Thank All right, this is Coach Tim Duncan with Varsity Softball in Fairborn. About our season this year that was cut short, it really hurt a lot of the seniors. Uh, it hurt every one of them. My kids worked so hard in fall ball, and they went from there to strength and conditioning. 
Uh, they played indoor games through November, indoor games in January, uh, came to hitting every day. All those kids that work so hard, I mean, not only seniors, but, you know, I applaud you. Uh, we will come back next year, I promise you that. But there are six girls that I am going to uh, call out by name. This doesn't mean everybody didn't work as hard. But this senior season was stolen from these kids, and I really, really feel bad for them. Ashlyn Baker, Alexis Hicks, Kendall Wynn, Riley Davis, Destiny Ferrigno, Mackenzie Culbertson. You guys were great. It was an honor and a privilege to be your coach. Uh, it's been great. It's been a joy watching you guys grow up. And I wish you the best of everything going forward. And to everybody, stay tough. And we'll be back next year. Hey, everyone. Uh, coach Marlette here. Um, wrote a few notes for our class of 2020 uh, senior athletes, and in particular, our, our baseball players. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read these. Um, here we go. To the class of 2020 athletes of Fairborn High, thank you. Thank you for your four years of hard work and dedication to your sport, your school, and your community. To my Fairborn baseball seniors, thank you for making my time here as a coach so great. You four showed up day in and day out and worked. You never complained, and you always brought your best effort. Ryan Carr, you're one of the gutsiest kids I've had the pleasure of to work with. Um, you know, doing what you've done for the last three years, um, takes a lot of guts to come back out and continue to put in the work and the effort. I applaud you. Uh, thank you for your leadership. Thank you. Logan Wright, Logie, watching you grow over the last few years has been one of my favorite things as a coach. Uh, continue to grow in every way. Continue to kind of get out of that shell, get out of your comfort zone. Um, I've really enjoyed my time with you so far. Thank you. Garrison Seacrest, G, you're a special kid, man. You've been a huge asset not only to the baseball program, but this entire school. You're the man. Thank you. Jacob Hobbs, Hobby, you moved in and became an immediate leader. You're the kind of kid that any staff member will always rave about due to your high character. You've made me a better coach and definitely a better person. Thank you. I wish you all nothing but success in your future endeavors. I know you will all do great. Once again, to the class of 2020 senior student athletes, thank you.